The press conference was called by Dr. Prakti Shaw to release newly completed research. For your information, Dr. Shaw won the 2012 Emerging Leader in Neonatology Award. This is the branch of medicine concerned with the care, development, and diseases of newborn infants. If born too soon or too small, we call them preterm, premature, or preemies. Sounds kind of cute, but it's not. These babies are known to have a far greater risk of autism, mental retardation, cerebral palsy, epilepsy, blindness, deafness, and learning disabilities. And it's a growing problem. Researchers are asking why. They have found that it's linked to the untested consumer product medical procedure. If a woman has utilized this procedure just one time, her risk of having a premature baby increased over one third, 36%. If she did the procedure two times or more, the risk increased 93%. The purpose of the press conference was to warn women of the risks of this procedure and ask for additional research to find a less damaging method of performing it. Dr. Shaw explains how the procedure damages the woman and greatly increases the risk of damaging her future children. I'm going to break his answer into its three parts. He is speaking medical ease, so I will explain what he is saying and show you medical animation. What sort of mechanisms do you imagine could be at work here so that the termination does actually make subsequent pregnancies carry a higher risk? There are three postulated mechanisms. One is the mechanical trauma. So when you are trying to dilate the cervix to get the conceptors out, you have to dilate the cervix and that may lead to trauma to the cervix. Number one, the cervical muscles are damaged because they are mechanically forced open against the body's involuntary will. This is similar to a sports injury. Imagine giving two otherwise equal people 30 pounds to carry in their arms for as long as possible. But one of those two people has an old sports injury in one arm. That person isn't going to be able to carry the 30 pounds as long as the uninjured person. Pregnancy is carrying upwards of an extra 20 to 30 pounds for nine months. But before nine months, the injured and weakened body says, I can't take this weight anymore, and the delivery starts ahead of schedule, ahead of what the baby needs, so it is delivered premature. Second, when there is a curettage done, so curettage is to remove the conceptus with a semi-blunt instrument from the uterus, it does damage the underlying epithelium and may cause faulty implantation of placenta in the subsequent pregnancy. Number two. A semi-blunt instrument, meaning it is not blunt but actually it is rather sharp, is inserted to scrape away at a very, very tender part of a woman's body. Unlike the inside of our mouth, for example, this is a part of the body that is not meant to be scraped. This damage causes scarring that makes the attachment of future babies far more difficult. The result is that the woman may have lost her ability to become pregnant or keep a baby full term. Thirdly, when the conceptus is removed, we hope that everything is removed. Our small amount of residuals are always left, or most of the time left, and that may act as a source of infection because it will be a dead tissue, and the infection is one of the biggest triggering factors for the preterm labor in the subsequent pregnancy. Number three, parts of the conceptus, a medical word for leftover pieces of the developing fetus, are left behind. As dead matter, they get infected just like the area around a sliver on your finger goes red with infection. But when the infection is inside your body, it creates big problems. Dr. Shaw is describing an induced abortion and the specific procedure most commonly used. In the accompanying press release, he carefully pointed out, numerous times actually, that he is not against abortions. Far from recommending women not have abortions, the solution is to improve abortion techniques. However, a woman should be counseled about that risk. Again, that risk is of giving birth to her future planned babies with far higher risk of challenges like autism, mental retardation, cerebral palsy, epilepsy, blindness, deafness, and learning disabilities.